Also want to remind you, too, that besides making Locked On uh, Sports Atlanta your first listen every day, make sure you make Locked On Sports today your second listen. Biggest stories of the day, instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day. Free and available on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Odyssey, Spotify, and check out their YouTube page as well. All right. It has now become division or bust for the Atlanta Falcons, okay? It's cute to talk about playoff standings. And look, the Falcons right now sit ninth in the playoff standings. They have Seattle, Washington ahead of them in the other two spots, right? That's the two teams directly ahead of them before you get into the Giants and then you start to get into the Cowboys. So you have a whole bunch of, and, and really when you look at, look at the NFC East, Philly, Dallas, New York, and Washington right now are all playoff teams. Now, the good news is the Falcons do have the tiebreaker over Seattle, but again, they don't have as good a record as Seattle. Look, here's the problem when you get into the last handful of weeks of the year. And we start talking, because look, the division is without question in play. Is the wild card spot in play? Yes, because the Falcons have five wins. Three of the teams ahead of them have six, seven, and seven wins, right? There's only one game difference between, you know, uh, one or two games difference between some of these teams that are ahead of them. But realistically, when, when you talk about this is what it gets into, jumping over teams, right? You have to, you don't control your own destiny. You have to win, they have to lose, right? I mean, that's where it starts to get into trickiness about how do I get up, Okay. Well, I need that. Well, the problem is, too, is that you got a whole bunch of teams in the same division that are going to kind of play one another. Look, the division is definitely online. Let's look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and what they have left. OK, so they've got the Saints coming up on Monday night. All right. That's at home. Can they win that game? Absolutely. Are they just bad enough? The Buccaneers, that is pronouns, pal, just bad enough to lose a game like that? Sure. They can. Hell, they just lost to the Browns. Why, why could they not lose to the New Orleans Saints? But then it's San Francisco. You're going, they go to San Francisco. So you're headed out west late in the year, going to play in San Francisco. Then it's back home with Cincinnati. They're looking to be a playoff team. At Arizona, again, going out west, home with Carolina and on January 1st, New Year's Day. And then, of course, you know, here in Atlanta against the Falcons. So – while that's not murderer's row of a schedule or anything like that, it certainly is, There, given the way the Buccaneers have played, there are certainly plenty of landmines, right? There are certainly plenty of trip-up moments. So, look, I know they went on the road and played Cleveland, but they lost to the Browns. That's a team that we beat. Can, can, and that's the thing. The, the wild card is they still have that dude at quarterback, right? I don't care what Brady's numbers have been. I don't care how many divorces he's going through. I don't care how many other owners' weddings he's showing up at. I don't care how much he doesn't like his former head coach. I don't care. Here's what I do know. The dude is still the seven-time Super Bowl-winning quarterback. And, and it's dangerous when you get into betting against guys like that. That's the danger, right? Can the Falcons win this division? Yes. But at this point, it is division or bust. And what that means for the Falcons, okay, realistically for the Falcons, you have to beat New Orleans, you have to beat the Buccaneers, so you have to win both of your divisional games that you have left because we're, we're done with Carolina, obviously. And you're probably going to have to – I'm not going to say you're going to have to run out on the, on the table, right, in the final five games that they have, and don't forget – the Falcons have a bye week, so they get through the Steelers game. They got a bye week, so only five games left for the Falcons. You're probably talking about four and one with beating the Saints and Buccaneers, right? So you're talking about the five games left. Steelers, Saints, Ravens, Cardinals, Buccaneers, okay? Do I think the Falcons are going up to Baltimore and winning? No. But certainly... They should beat the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. I don't care if the Steelers won last night. They're not a very good football team. Can certainly go down and beat New Orleans. You have to win that game. The Ravens, I'm going to chalk up as probably a loss. Home with, with Arizona, you win that game. And then home with Tampa Bay, you win that game. But if they're 3-2, and two, that ain't going to win the division either because they don't have the tiebreaker right now 
over Tampa Bay, you know, with, with head-to-head divisional record, all that, then on the tiebreaker. So four and one is a must. Beating the Saints and Buccaneers is a must. Okay. If we put those three things on the table, yes, I think the Falcons can find a way to win the division. And that means a home playoff game at some point, right? That means you get a game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And look, I'm not telling you that the Falcons are going to go far in the playoffs and all this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. I get all that. But what have we talked about consistently all year long? It is winning games. They want to win games. The front office wants to win games. They're putting out the players they think can win them the most games. They're not rolling the dice and taking a chance on a rookie quarterback as to what he can or cannot be. They're going with what they feel like is their known commodity. And they're going to keep this formula most likely until the end of the year. Because let's face it, Falcons are really not going to get knocked out of the division probably until the last week of the season. I I don't think that there's much doubt that the division is going to come down to the final week. Now, maybe a week before or something like that, the Falcons stub their toe in one other place. But more than likely, this division comes down to the very end. And part of that is the, the, uh, the schedule for the Falcons. Part of that is not trusting the Buccaneers. Again, the Buccaneers in the last handful of games, they could run it. It's still the Buccaneers. It's still Tom Brady. I don't like betting against Tom Brady, but they certainly don't look like the same team. So at this point for the Falcons, it's division or bust. Make sure you take care of business against the Saints. Make sure you take care of business against the Buccaneers. Make sure you take care of your business against the conference. Make sure you take care of your business against bad football teams. And guess what? That starts on Sunday at Mercedes-Benz Stadium with the Pittsburgh Steelers coming in. Handle your business there. I want to talk about my friends over at Built Bar. Listen, we've talked a bunch about going to Built.com. Everybody's looking for that low-calorie, low-sugar, high-protein, low-carb type snack, right? Built.com is the place to go. Look, they're always coming up with a new flavor each month. So I want you to head to Built.com. Check out their wide menu of products, right? We've talked about the protein-infused marshmallow puffs. You want something that's got a little different taste and texture, but still has the low-sugar, low-carb, low-cal, high-protein Mix to it, try the marshmallow puffs. So when you get to built.com, I want you to go and take a, take a look at their menu of all their different products. When you get your order put together, okay, I'm going to give you a deal. Get to checkout, put the promo code locked on 15, L O C K E D O N, the number one, the number five, put locked on 15 into you know your uh, promo code browser. And when you get that, you're going to get 15% off your order simply by using the promo code locked on 15. So if you need low carb, low sugar, low cal, high protein snacks, and you're looking for the perfect bar with good texture, good taste, everything that goes along with it, right? Nobody wants to eat chewed up leather, right? You'd rather like cut the sole off your tennis shoe and just eat that versus eating some of these protein bars. Not the problem at built.com. Everything is fantastic over there. I love these folks. Such great products. Check them out today and save yourself 15% by using the promo code LOCKEDON15. 